Hello, 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 people, and welcome back to the Technus Corner. My name's Sebastian Lucas, otherwise known as Seb Luca. And yeah, why don't you guys come right on in? We've got another one of those unboxing videos. And what sort of unboxing video is this? A typical unboxing video, unfortunately. No frills in relation to it. When we obviously get to it because I've got to give you my spiel on some things in relation to the product be it the model number in the description and or title itself and obviously we're unboxing a monitor today. Also with this coupled will be a subjective review. I say that because ultimately for my user case scenario, obtaining this monitor had a set requirements which I needed, which may not be the same requirements that you will need a monitor for when looking potentially at this monitor as an option for whatever reasons you need to purchase a new monitor. We will be running through the features. So enough crapping on. Where's the box to unbox today? Well, it's over there. Well, let's let's turn around over here real quickly and uh, address you guys a bit more personally at the Technus Corner from another angle. You Turns out you may be after a 1080p monitor, y'all. So where is this box to unbox? Well, it's over there, so I'm gonna go get it for y'all and uh, we're gonna get stuck right on in. So we got ourselves the box from Samsung, the Odyssey, according to the box, G3. Just to elaborate, 32 inch, and on a side note, there ain't any 32 inches, 32 inch G, G3s that I believe I've noticed being unboxed, at least with the model specific that we are doing today. I need to go get the official Technus Corner unboxing tool of the trade what was um, at one point meant to be a professional unboxing t-shirt reveal as well by going Phew. but uh, Linus Tech beat me through that um, probably about nine or eight years ago frankly yeah so what I'm going to do guys is explain to you guys the specifications that we are expecting and the features from this model specific and reiterate everything before we unbox this monitor and essentially put it into the spot just behind me over here to fill that gap and we're filling this gap with this monitor to the centimeter i believe ultimately that's where the monitor is going in portrait mode you see and that was my user case so ultimately i went through a list of what was available at the 32 inch mark at the time that was not complete cannon fodder and had some features how rich they are i'll leave that to x271 my pc to produce the x on specs section of this unboxing video let's go x throwing it to you mate the 32 odyssey g32a gaming monitor with the model number ls32 ag320 nexxy is a high performance display designed specifically for gamers here's a summary of its key features and specifications the monitor features a large 32 inch screen providing an immersive gaming experience it boasts a crisp and detailed display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p the monitor has a quick response time usually around one millisecond or less this fast response time helps eliminate ghosting and ensures that images transition seamlessly, delivering a more enjoyable gaming experience. The G32A offers a high refresh rate, typically 144 Hz or higher, which allows for smooth and fluid motion during fast-paced gaming scenarios. This results in reduced motion blur and enhanced responsiveness. The G32A supports adaptive sync technologies such as AMD FreeSync. This technology synchronizes the monitor's refresh rate with the graphics card's output, minimizing screen tearing and stuttering for smoother gameplay. 
the G32A is likely to feature an ergonomic design with adjustable tilt, swivel, and height options. This enables you to customize the monitor's position for optimal viewing comfort during extended gaming sessions. On a side note people, HDR support allows for a wider color gamut and increased contrast, resulting in more vibrant and lifelike visuals. HDR content can deliver richer colors and deeper blacks, enhancing the overall visual experience. Unfortunately in all propaganda from Samsung no mention of HDR support. Depending on the specific region-based model of G32A they may include other features such as built-in speakers, a USB hub, blue light filter for reduced eye strain, and customizable gaming presets. Apart from disclosing any speakers, wishful thinking, I believe our G32A 32-inch monitor will include all additional features, we hopes. The monitor is expected to offer various connectivity options, including HDMI and DisplayPort inputs. These connections allow you to easily connect your gaming console, PC, or other devices. Please note that the specific details and specifications of the Odyssey G32A gaming monitor may vary, so it's recommended to refer to the manufacturer's official documentation or product listing for the most accurate and up-to-date information. My name's X217 and this has been another X on Specs, overclocked on tech report from the Technus Corner. Also, consider this a good time to subscribe and like, it's free, and so warmly welcomed. Now throwing you back to my user, Subluca for the official unboxing of the Samsung 32 Odyssey G32A gaming monitor. Alrighty, so we've got our official unboxing tool. Thank you, X217, our resident DJ as well. And there she is, our professional unboxing tool for the job. And I endorse it. Uh, just on the side note, this weighs 387 grams. So she is going to be a ripper. Hopefully not because um, we need to slice through. But actually, quite blunt. I need to professionally sharpen it. So yeah, it's just more an ornament or a prop, y'all. So don't judge me too harshly. And let's work out the best way to tackle this, frankly. It is, as you can see, brown paper cardboard box reinforced definitely got some packaging on the side it does mention samsung odyssey g3 and just to reiterate this is the 32 inch model that we are unboxing and it's designed specifically to fill that gap i will be happy because that's all that was available in my price range that wasn't complete and utter ass and as you heard it's got some settings that unfortunately HDR is not available, but it does have, from my understanding, free sync, okay? And the free sync version is the free sync premium. So if on a noted educational skill to elaborate, if it had been free sync premium pro, then that would definitely entail a form of HDR available on the device as well, even if it's not clearly marked. Now, on a side note, speaking of markings before we do unbox this, nothing else seems to pop out except one thing, which is, right, Windows compatible. Sizing wise, it specifies 31.5 centimeters and 80.1 centimeters wide so that means it's going to be taller than expected so i'm going to have to work something out what more to say but to unbox and bear with me as we maybe put on something comical enough information in regards to what we are to expect I've had this sitting pretty much in the closet for almost a week now trying to get to this point of unboxing Eventually, you know, I have to unbox it to make sure that the item's fine as well. No markings, visible markings on the box or anything to declare any damage. I'm not expecting anything, but it's always good to note as well for myself, just to cover myself. It's an easier way, especially if I don't unbox it straight away. I'm um, going back to the shop, you know, a week later, they're like, why did it take you so long, you know, to notice this? You know, sort of thing. I'm like, it's because I just unboxed it. So enough little dabbling. Let's go, y'all. Yeah.
that's the monitor you're pertaining to size matte sort of a finish in relation to non-glossy and you're getting what is the Technus Corner uh, radiating wallpaper beaming off it. Cool thing is I'll probably have a better light, a better colored wallpaper for starters radiating on me when I'm addressing this camera once it's set up again properly. It looks good so far but let's see if it can do what I'm getting it for which is as advertised hopefully crossing our fingers no problems pop it in portrait mode now hopefully it doesn't fall off the hinges and uh break at the same time <laughs> cross our fingers we're not jinxing it major purpose was filling this gap yo bottom corner camera and uh adding extra real estate even though at the same 1080p for my use case it's for scripts and things like that as well which uh will be larger and much more visible for myself um, or the availability of and also just mitigating some other apps and that which I have on the side and or watching the tube on the side if I haven't got M running while playing some gaming on X. So yeah, let's pop it in portrait mode. I think uh, it'll do the job quite thoroughly. Unfortunately, to uh, connect it up, it's going to be a longer task. So I'll keep you posted in the next few hours after release and or roughly around the same time will be the short release, which will be us just turning it on, going, yeah, she works. Check out this video for the uh, labored unboxing, it seems. My name's been Sebastian Lucas, otherwise known as Seb Luca. Thanks for joining us at the Technus Corner, y'all, and peace out. Mm -hmm.